So I would suggest you actually go and try and look at some micro short or short films. Now we haven't actually defined what a micro short film is. So I'll take a minute and tell you that I think a micro short film is something that is shorter than a short film. Okay, I'm, I'm sure that was really helpful. But basically when I think of short films, they're often, you know, in the six to eight to 15 plus minute range. Uh, I wrote a book on micro short filmmaking and I think I was one of the first people to do that. So I, I took a certain license in defining the genre a bit. For me, a micro short film is probably three minutes or less. And there are a, um, a lot of films and there's a growing art form right now for one minute films. I love one minute films. I started a festival that focuses exclusively on the one minute film form. So when I think of micro short, I think of anything from say 15 seconds up to around three minutes. So they're very short, compact films. Now, thinking about films generally, what goes into a film? Well, on a basic level, it's imagery and voices and in many cases, music. So it's, it's pictures and sounds. And I mentioned earlier that, you know, you should always feel comfortable just walking out with your phone and filming anything that looks cool to you. That's gonna give you the imagery part of a film. And that's gonna be one of the most important parts. Um, the other part is sounds of one kind or another, of voices, narration. If you have actors in your film, you'll have their dialogue. Uh, you'll have background noise. You'll have music or sound effects that you might want to uh, pull into your film. But when you think about it, a film in a technical level is imagery and sounds, voices. But beyond that, there's also elements of style. You're going to see after you've made a bunch of films, your style will be imprinted on those films. I think that's the case in my, in my films for sure, is that having done over 75 films of various lengths now, uh, I can sense that I have a certain way of approaching things or a certain style that probably some people might even recognize. And you will have that too. So there's the mechanical parts of a film, the imagery and the sounds, the voices, the narration. There's also the style and there's the themes and thematically, what is the film about? What do your films tend to be about? And I think most of the filmmakers that I know and myself included will tend to get on a theme and they will work that theme and they will approach it in various different ways. So one of the things I would love for you to be thinking about in your learning journal and as you watch films and think about them in terms of how they're made is what is important to you? What kind of imagery do you like? What kind of um, acting, acting, if you have actors in your film, what kind of acting do you like? What genres interest you? Um, a genre might be documentary, drama, comedy, um, messages about life, inspirational films. They're, all of those things are wide open to you as possibilities. So it's really helpful if you can start to define what you are about as a filmmaker, because that's gonna help you immensely.